Today, I want to tell you about the 101 training program. So 101 training program. The 101 training program isn't designed to be a lifestyle. Let me be very clear with this. Don't do this for more than five months. The 101 training program is for the guy who needs change right now. Not in 10 months, not in two years, not when, when the time is ready, but he needs it right fucking now because he's got a massive ego and because he simply needs success right now for whatever reason. He simply needs to fix his mental health right now. Fuck monk mode, fuck everything. This is the true thing. It's written in my book, the self-improvement book. And I'm quickly going to read the training program and the general life program to you. We're going to start with Monday, which is a leg day with five sets of leg curls, 15 sets of leg extensions, 10 sets of squats, 10 sets of leg press, five sets of calf raises, and then two sets of tibialis raises, which is basically a reverse calf raise if you want. So it's basically like, like pulling your foot up instead of pushing it down like a calf raise then. 15 minutes of sauna instantly after the workout without rest. So you do the last set of tibialis raises, instantly get into the sauna for 15 minutes. Then a one hour meditation. My book just flipped over, man. Then a one hour meditation and then a 5K barefoot walk. That's Monday. Then Tuesday, which is a chest day. Five sets of flat bench, eight sets of 45 bench, 10 sets of flies on the machine, five sets of flies with dumbbells, then five supersets or five drop sets with at least three drop sets of lateral raises on a machine. Then again, 15 minutes of sauna without rest from the last set. And then a one hour meditation, five K barefoot walk. Then for Wednesday, a arm day with five sets of cable tricep extensions, five sets of skull crushers, five sets of Scott curls with like preacher curls. I think you call it preacher curls, but I call it Scott curls. Um, then five sets of real curls. I, it's kind of difficult to pronounce it in English, but I'll show you um, how it works in the video. Then a standing curl with a cable and then supersets between skull crushers and bicep curls with a barbell. Then 10 minutes of sauna, also without rest. Then a one hour meditation. And then for me personally, a team practice for football. Now to Thursday, which is gonna be a back day. Five sets of rowing with a close grip, five sets of lat pull down and those two things in alternation. So in a superset, I think that's how you call it, a superset of each other. Then wide rowing for the traps, 10 sets, then five sets of shrugs and then a 20 minute sauna session and a one hour meditation, no walk on that day. Then on Friday, legs again, but this time for the kind of athlete that has a game on the weekend. Two sets of leg curls, three sets of leg extension, three sets of leg press, three sets of, three sets of snatches with no weight on the bar, so with just the 20 kilo, kilograms bar. Then a five minute sauna, a 2K barefoot walk, and then team practice again. Then Saturday, it's either a game day or a rest day. If you have a game day meditation for one hour, again, that should be the same every single day. I forgot to put it out in on Friday for whatever reason, but it is on Friday that you have a one hour meditation and then hurt someone on game day. This is a very important point because I want you to go all in. The Friday is especially easy. Only five minutes on, only a 2K barefoot walk and only a normal workout that other people would think is high volume. Then Saturday for a rest day, barefoot walk, 7K, then stretch, black roll, and of course a one hour meditation. Sunday, 
if it is a game day so you can alter these things if you have a game day on sunday this is what you do if you have a game day on sunday then saturday is of course a rest day if you have a game day on saturday sunday is either a rest day or a chest day i made it rhyme out of purpose <laughs> if you have on sunday a game one hour meditation and hurt someone so i want you to go all in of course and Sunday rest is simply the same as Saturday rest. So it's a 7K barefoot walk and a seven and a stretch, black roll, and of course, one hour meditation. Then on Sunday, if you want to do a chest day, then just repeat Tuesday to your best abilities. I will also put on a screenshot of this so you can actually screenshot this so you can actually work out uh, from this if you want full access to my self-improvement book you can go down to the link in the description there is my coaching and there i will give you full access to the self-improvement book of mine now what is important about the one-on-one training program first of all don't do it for too long it's an extreme nose to the grindstone thing i recommend this if you want results right now if you want a drastic change right now this is not something for beginners this is something for the guy who's always been training like frankly just a bitch and who's always been training like like the bodybuilder like the three sets two sets one set bodybuilder who is fucking sick of going home with too much energy who wants to train hard right now it's for that guy, the experienced guy who's sick of holding back. This is what this training program is for. You shouldn't be a beginner, that's one criteria. But then you should also have high testosterone and believe in God. These are the three things that need to be ticked off before you get onto this program and tick them off honestly. A beginner for me is everything below two years of training experience this can be any training experience this can be experience at home experience in the gym whatever doesn't matter everything below two years for me is a beginner of course also you shouldn't start this as a self-improvement beginner because then you cannot do a one hour meditation work your way up to about half an hour and then you can take the jump to one hour because half an hour and one hour isn't really that different um, in terms of like experience a guy who can meditate half an hour a day can also meditate one hour as soon as your joints start hurting as soon as you stop building muscle from this it has no use of doing it and at that point it's stupid to continue doing it so only do it as long as you're healthy blah 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 short story long talking don't be stupid do this if you feel like you need it if you don't feel like you need fast progress right now and if you think you can be patient for a little longer don't do this master your mind